Now here's two different kind of worm castings. This is what my my uh, my sister. She's uh, she's a brilliant masterminded. I don't know what it, I don't know. It runs in the family, I guess, like me, I reckon. But anyway, we got the 100% worm castings. This is it right here. That's just like black gold right there. Okay, 100%. You just can't you can't beat it. There's nothing else better. Without black gold, with, maybe? Huh? No, it's just black gold. Black gold. And that's just plain and simple. You see there? Now it gets black. See there? How pretty that is. That's pretty. That's pretty. Mm-hmm gold all right then so we wanted to soil she had this idea about uh, was there any way to enhance the worm castings you know for down here in Florida you know there's a lot of poor soil and everything like that so she made something put this together and it works terrific that uh, she uses 80% worm castings and she uses 20% new minerals which is uh, ozomite, uh, bat guana, uh, kelp, fossil shell, and stuff like that, and she puts in there with it. And then when you put it in there, it's like a probiotic. It's all, all organic, you know what I'm saying? But it, it boosts even up the worm castings, and it does a good job. So we work two different ones at a time. This is the Virginia right here, let me show you. It's got a lighter little color to it, and that's a diatomatrius is in there as well. And the fossil, the fossil shell is, is also powdery like white too, but that's 80% worm castings with the other six minerals. Mm -hmm. okay. All right then, I was talking earlier about the, our uh, worm castings, we call it the regenerate. That's where we added 20 more percent of uh, different types of minerals that goes along with 80% of our worm castings. That, uh, that, you know, it's like a probiotic. It gets in there and helps you soil to, to, when it gets too hard to penetrate through the sand and everything, this is gonna help you. All right, number one is kelp meal. That comes out to like 3.333%. Then we got biochar. It comes about the same thing. And then we have diatomaceous. Did I pronounce that right? I guess it did. That one right there. Then we got fossil shell. Okay. Then we got bat guana. Everybody knows what that is, right? Okay. Bat droppings. Then we got ozomite right here on the far end. It all comes out to like 3.33, continue more and more, and it's right at 3.3% all together. It comes out to 20. Anyways, it all works out just right. And that's how we keep up with our uh, regenerate. It's 80% worm castings and 20% um, minerals extra minerals there you go. here we go we're going to show you all how, how we bag them first thing we do we have our, our our bags and we have them labeled on the front we don't have nothing on the back now label on the front with the instructions on the back okay and this is the way we do them put them right at three pounds but always put a little bit more than three pounds so just they dry out that way make sure you get a full count but this is all we do reach in there and fill that little feller up like that Eight, that's it, four, five. That looks like it's right about five pounds, five ounces right there. Put it on the steel there. There is three point ounces. Then we bend it over, fold it. And then we bring it over here. We always put a double seal on all our bags that way in case for shipping or whatever. And we stick it in there just like that right there to right there and right there. We double seal it. That way it keeps the freshness and everything in the bag. And it's all double sealed. We always check it and make sure. See that double seal right there? All we need. And that's how we do the worm castings, baby.